Hello to all of you seniors out there. Uh, my name is Bracha Krohn. I'm the Director of Guidance at Midrash at Moria. I was around recruiting in many cities, so I met some of you and sat with some of you and really enjoyed presenting and talking about Midrash at Moria. And I wanted to share with you a little thought about Hanukkah that connects the holiday to this week's Parsha, Parshat Miketz. Um, you know, Parshat Miketz always falls during that week of Hanukkah, and maybe one of the connections can be found in Paro's dream. So I'll read the Pasuk here where we find out that Paro had this dream about the Sheva Parot, Yefot Mare, Ubriot Basar, that there were seven fat, healthy cows that came up and were grazing in the pasture. And then all of a sudden, Vihine Sheva Parot Achirot, Olot Acharehen, Mina Yeor, Raot Mare, Vidakot Basar, and the seven skinny, scrawny, sickly looking cows arose after. And we know all of a sudden, Paro was surprised when Batuchalna Parot Raot Mare, Vidakot Basar, Et sheva haparot yifotam areva habriot. The seven skinny cows ate the fat cows. Vaykatz paro. Paro woke up. That was a crazy dream to Paro. He's used to thinking of the big guy, the strong guy always wins. Mitzrayim, after all, was a superpower. Um, nobody could beat them, right? That's what Paro thought. And here in his dream, he's learning that there's such a phenomenon as the smaller, weaker, dominating over the bigger, stronger. Um, and that was something crazy to him. And the truth is, that is what we see during the story of Hanukkah. We all know the nace, the miracle was Rabim Biyad Me'atim. The mighty great Greeks were delivered into the hands of the Jews. Um, and were delivered is really the operative term there. Because we can say we won the war, but we know that Akadosh Baruch Hu delivered them into our hands. And we see a lot of that going on in Israel today. We live with that miracle here uh, in the Middle East when Israel is surrounded by so many neighbors and enemies. And yet we, we win. We win every time. Li Ein Hara and Bar Hashem. So we are happy to be reliving such a miracle and living out such a dream as Paro dreamt. And we can't wait for all of you to be here next year experiencing that Yad Hashem. And that's one connection between this week's Parsha and the holiday of Hanukkah. And um, you can think about it every day when you're saying Ashrei. In the Laman Atzeach that we say before Uval Etzion, you know, after Ashrei, we say, Ela Baracha ve'ela Basusim v'anachnu b'shem Hashem alokeinu nazkir. Everybody else calls out with their horses and their chariots, and they, that's what they use to win. But we just say God's name. We just daven and we call out God's name, and we know that that's the way we win every time. And it was like that all throughout history, and it's like that today. So happy Hanukkah. There's a lot to celebrate, and we look forward to discussing more about Midrash Moria with you.